Welcome to Tally Help videos. The e-payment feature in Tally Prime enables you to process bulk payments to your beneficiaries from your ICICI bank account. Let us look at the process of making e-payments in Tally Prime in five simple steps. Step 1. Creating a bank ledger. Press Alt G. Select Create Master. Press Enter. Select Ledger and press Enter. On the ledger creation screen, enter the name of the ledger and select Bank Accounts. Now, enter Bank Account Details. By default, Tally Prime will take the active company's name as account holder's name. You can change it if needed. Enter account number and IFS code. Enter SWIFT code if applicable. In the bank name, select ICICI Bank India. Once you select the bank, you can see the option Enable e-payments under Bank Configuration. Enter the branch name. Now, set Enable e-payments to Yes. An information screen appears. The bulk payment feature needs to be activated from ICICI Bank. You can contact your bank relationship manager for the same. To view the contact details of the banks in Tally Help, click Yes. Or click No to proceed and enable Set or Alter ePayments configuration. Under Bank Specific Configuration, set Export or Upload Payment File in Encrypted Format to Yes. Once you set it to Yes, the option Folder Path for Encryption Tool appears, where you need to specify the path for the encryption tool. The encryption of payment file is mandatory for uploading it on ICICI Bank Portal. You need to avail the encryption tool ICICI underscore WEH128 from your ICICI Bank Relationship Manager. Enable Set or Alter Payment Instruction Output File Name in order to set the name of the output file name. In the Output File Format screen, enter the Customer Code and Format Code as provided to you by the bank and save. Export or Upload Payment Instructions on Voucher Creation is set to No by default which will allow you to export payment instructions from the ePayments report in bulk. However, if you want to export payment instructions at the time of voucher creation, set it to Yes. By default, Ignore Transactions with Information Mismatch in Report is No. Setting it to No will move the transactions to the Transactions with Information Mismatch with Masters section in the ePayments report if bank details entered during the voucher creation do not match the one provided in the bank details of the party ledger. Under Folder Path for Payment Instructions, the default path has been specified. However, you can change the folder path as per your preference. And as you can see, the default path has also been specified under Folder Path for New Intermediate Files or Reverse Files as termed in ICICI Bank. You can change it too. Similarly, the folder path for the imported intermediate files or reverse files can be changed. Save the bank ledger. Next, create a party ledger. Create a party to which the payment has to be made. Enter name and select sundry creditors. Set Provide Bank Details to Yes. Press Enter and you will get the bank details for the party screen. In the transaction type, select E4 
fund transfer and press enter. Now enter account number and IFS code of the party's bank account. Select the bank in which the party has account from the list of banks and press enter. Press Ctrl A to save the master. Now you can record payments. Step 3. Record a payment voucher. Press Alt G. Create voucher and press F5 for payment voucher. Under account, choose the ICICI bank ledger that you have created. In the party, select the party ledger created for the beneficiary. Enter the amount and select the bill references as applicable and press enter. Now you can see the bank allocation screen for the party with the details provided in the party ledger. Enter the narration and save the transaction. Next, export the transaction to generate the payment file. Step 4. Export the transaction and generate the payment file. Press Alt-G, ePayments, select Ready for sending to bank and press Enter. As you can see, the transaction you have made appears here. Click Export on the top menu and then click Payment Instructions. The Exporting Payment Instructions screen appears. Click Send. A message confirming the generation of payment file appears, showing the file name and location. As you can see, the file has got exported to the location you had set while creating the bank ledger and it is in the encrypted format. Once the export is completed, the transaction will move to the Transactions Sent to Bank Unreconciled section. If the transactions are recorded without the beneficiary's account number or IFS code, then they will appear under Transactions with Incomplete Information. And if there are transactions in which the bank details of the beneficiary do not match to the mentioned in the party ledger, they will appear under Transactions with Information Mismatch with Master. Drill down on any of these sections. For example, let us drill down on transactions with incomplete information. You can see the error. Drill down further and you can correct it by entering information here or by pressing Alt S to copy from master and press Ctrl A and then press A to accept. Once you do it, the transaction will reflect in the Ready for Sending to Bank section. Now, let us proceed to the final step which is uploading the payment file on the bank portal. Step 5. Upload the file in the bank portal. Now, open the ICICI bank portal and enter your credentials. You are now in the ICICI Bank Portal homepage and as you can see, you are logged in. On the homepage, click CMS and then click CMS Payments IPS under Collections and Payments. CMS Payment File Upload page opens. Click Payment File Upload on the left side and then Transaction file upload under it. Provide the details and upload the file under Select Data File. Click Upload. Now you can authorize the payment file. Under Payment Approvals, click Pending for Authorization. Click on the Authorize checkbox and then click Save. Once the payment is authorized, the bank makes the payment to the beneficiary or the party. Thereafter, bank updates the status of the payment which is available in the reverse file. To download the reverse file, go to reports slash inquiry. Now, import the reverse file downloaded from the bank portal in Tally Prime. 
go to the e-payments report in tally prime select transactions sent to the bank unreconciled and press enter click import intermediate file select the reverse file press enter and the e-payment transaction will be reconciled by updating instrument number and bank date let's have a quick look at the process of e-payments from icici bank using tally prime again create a bank ledger with icici bank india as the bank then create a ledger for the party to which the payment has to be made record the payment to the party by creating a payment voucher now open the e-payments report and export the transaction to get the payment file finally upload the payment file to the icici bank portal authorize and download the reverse file you can import this file in tally prime to reconcile the e-payment transaction as you saw tally prime provides you with the facility to process e-payments to the beneficiaries in a simple and secure way thank you for more information visit help.tallysolutions.com